Hey guys, Forex Capital here. Let's take a look and see what Ethereum is doing today. So looking at the daily chart, this looks very similar to Bitcoin. I've been saying that for I don't know how long, but let's just dive in and see what's going on here. So if we look from this trend line that dates back June 26 of 19, looks like we're struggling with this trend line. If we just kind of push it little bit further so we try to break this trend line you know July 8th and then we had this looks like a, a you know I forgot the name of that candle but it's the opposite of piercing line dark cloud that's what it is this looks like a dark cloud candle right here and then we had this little little bit of a pullback now Right now, this is another pair. I mean, you have a lot of better opportunities elsewhere. This is another pair that I wouldn't be touching right now. Let me tell you why. So, we're still holding below the trend line that dates all the way back from a year ago. And when we see right at so at the 250 level it looks like it's that's a very important level because if we just <clears throat> draw some lines right here so yeah about 249 250 i wouldn't do much because you have this level that we try one two three four times to break and we didn't now as you try as you try more times that level gets weaker but it also tells you that that's a true level so um so we try four times more likely you know we're probably gonna blast through it unless we get some sort of very very bearish news or anything on those lines so i don't think that's the case at this particular moment especially with crypto but you have you need to break 250 and right after that guys you have from this swing high the dates all the way back to june 26 of last year to the swing so to the swing low so it dates march 13 we have a 61 percent retracement so that's at a 258 to 260 level so you have a lot of resistance coming up due if you did not get long at 2 225 so this 50 percent retracement i wouldn't do much right now uh, definitely stand aside because your risk to reward won't check out i mean you would have to if you get long right now you know you have to do the previous low but if you do the previous low then you're so close to the 50% retracement, so you might as well just put it here. But and then typically, then it's the previous low, the FIB, and that puts you all the way down to 215, or around 215. So I don't think risk to reward quite checks out at this particular moment with the Ethereum. By the way, guys, if you guys like the video, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to pulverize that like button because that's the only way we're going to reach out to 7 billion people. Help grow the channel so everyone in the world can learn and stop needing help from the crooks the banker so and if you get anything useful send one friend to the channel that way you can make money they can make money we can all make monies here money here so that being said you have to put the stop loss like i said about 215 and then you run into another issue because this is kind of this is a fake breakout and guess what we have right after your 200 day moving average 200 day moving average is meeting you at about 200 so I feel like risk to reward doesn't quite check out. I mean, if you got about, you got in at about 225, you know, I would hold with a stop loss, you know, right below that. So I wouldn't put it very wide because if it, this was to break down, which I hope it doesn't, but if it does, then you're going to go all the way down. Do you know, if we pierce in a hole below the 225 level, the 50% retracement, you're going all the way down to 200. Um, to retest the 200 day moving average so that's something to keep in mind when you're doing these things if you would break the 250 level and if you would pass that then you know our next target it's 288 because and then you have um your previous high it was about two 280 uh yeah about 288 so and if you would take out this previous high then your next target is 304 but before we get all excited, like I always like to tell you guys, before we get excited about how much money we're going to make, let the price action tell you how much money you can make. So 
we're not there we haven't pierced all this resistance level so we just have to wait and see what's going to happen here now i think the ethereum will continue to outperform outperform so it will be bullish for this pair and especially i was just glancing over our, the most important video that i make which is ethereum bitcoin if you trade alts then it looks like it's starting to become bullish again so that being said guys we're trying to figure out how often we're going to post the video so just make sure you leave down in the comments below how often you guys want to see them and like i said if you guys get anything useful out of it send one friend to the channel and help grow the channel so everyone in the world can learn about crypto and make some money like we are. So thanks again, guys.